talked about delayed rhythms and footwork off this idea of the post. And again, just the basic concept of posting as my hand stops moving on count four as a leader. We both stretch away from behind it with our center. It's not necessarily holding connection, squeezing or pulling my elbow into my side, all right? So as a um, delayed rhythm, the first one that we did for leaders, and I'll show it from both sides, was just from our count four, we set our post on our left foot. We're going to go together and stepping out in a back diagonal. Here's six. My center's going to be over my right foot on one, and I'm going to lead for and two. All right? So on a basic, three and four, five and six, one lead and step on two. All right? As a follower, similar idea on the right foot for four, five, and back diagonal for six, and potentially bringing my feet together, potentially just doing this lunge thing for one and two. All right, so together it looks like this. I'll do it from both sides. So starting with a basic rhythm, we've got one, two, three, and four, five, and six, one, and two, three, and four. I'll lead a basic side pass. Now here it is again, five and six, one and two, three and four, five and six, hold one, lead two. We did a couple different basic drills, thank you, um, to make sure that leaders weren't beating early. So leaders, it's really easy to, sorry, I'm going to grab you, um, to lead early as I'm stepping away, five and six, I'm now leading either on six, or maybe on six I'm leading on one, but the idea was not to lead until after one and two. So the idea that I'm holding my frame, I'm keeping connection, I'm moving away from my own hand, um, and followers are waiting to come forward, I don't want to, as a follower, excuse me, self-lead forward on one if my leader was leading delayed rhythm, so the willingness to kind of hang out and be patient, wait and see what's going to happen. Um, we talked a little bit about when this connection develops. It can develop as late as one, so one, two, three and four, it's light, it's light, and now we stretch and then we go. That's one way it could happen. Depending on my follower though, it might happen a different way. So we've got one, two, three, and four. Maybe we want to hold this connection, then stretch away and then lead. That's fine too. They're both totally functional, and that's why we kind of rotated a lot and did it with different people, right? Second concept of a delayed rhythm was more of a hitch. And we talked about what we call a closed hitch, where our feet come together. As a follower, if I'm starting here on count four, five, and I'm pushing into six off my right foot, here's six, and I'm going together. I'm not pulling on my leader's arm, but I am still connected to it with my frame. Hips are going back. It's called a closed hitch because my feet are closing, then I can step forward. Thinking of this as like together, step, step is one way of doing it. As a leader, it's the same, so I can have one, two, three, and four, five, and six, pushing, and then stepping. And notice the hand stay put until I let on the and after one, all right? Um, an open hitch would be something more like this, where my feet are apart, and we just talked a little bit about how um, this can potentially be easier to mess up and build some bad habits on especially for leaders. Now for followers, doing this kind of gathered, closed hitch is really flexible in terms of patterns. Um, if Haley does a gathered, closed hitch in the middle of the slot, she can really follow any pattern in any direction. And this makes it a little bit more viable if you don't know what our leader is going to do. So gather pop quiz. Yep. Nice. Awesome. So the last thing we talked about was just how we can incorporate both this idea of leading a delayed rhythm and the post and spacing into a footwork variation. So what we did was, and I talked about this just from the leader's perspective first, starting with a basic three and four, stepping on five, stepping on six, and then tripling for one and two. And again, I'm leading on the and after one. So we can have one, two, three and four, step, replace, one and two. That could be any pattern, all right? Followers, kind of the same idea. If I start with a basic, one, two, three and four, five, six, triple step coming forward, all right? So together it looked like this, again, starting from a basic. We've got one, two, three and four, step, step, triple step, triple step, triple step, here's the basic, 
three, four, five, six, one, and two. All right. Once again, the lead's coming on the and after one. And that was your class. Great job. Thanks so much, guys.